Well, hello and good evening everyone. My name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Design High Park. Students, just give me a response. If you could hear me properly, just write something in the chat box so that I get to know that you all are able to hear me properly. Well, in today's video, which is based on ratios and proportions, which is basically a topic from aptitude, we'll talk about the ratios and proportions. Well, I hope everyone has joined and we all can straight away start with this topic so this is creative edge and we all are going to talk about ratios and proportions today everyone please understand when it comes to dealing or talk about ratios you always need to remember that ratios are nothing but numbers simplified the most atomic form of number is considered ratios for example whenever someone says that in india let's say there is a census and as per that census the population count ka wo jo data aata hai uske according let's say indian government provides you the data that males is to females in india are in the ratio 100 is to 90 let's say this is the data you are given to all which means they are trying to tell you that there are on 100 males there are 90 females well whenever somebody says something like that you need to understand you can still further convert into a more proper ratio well ratio is the most atomic form most atomic form ka matlab hota hai that you cannot further divide that number into more integers which means agar mujhe yaha kuch thoda sa bhi scope dikh raha hai jaise ye zero can get cancelled by the zero which means males is to females jo ratio mujhe receive ho raha hai wo ratio ho raha hai 10 is to 9 now the significance of 10 is to 9 is this that on every 10 male in india 10 males in india there are 9 females in india i hope you all are able to understand that so the data is quite simple always remember that Ratios are always the most atomic forms of a number. Yani ki, agar there are 10 males to 9 females. Now, this 10 is to 9 cannot be further subdivided. Obviously, you can fraction mein convert in fraction. So, ye integer format, mein, this is the smallest possible form of this. Right? Now, always remember, you ratios par addition or subtraction perform kar sakte. Yani, in case, if somebody tells me that the total number of males in India are, let's say, 60 crore. So, India mein jo total male se wo mujhe kaha ja raha hai ki total 60 crore hai. Aur mujhe poochha jaye ki, you know, males, females se kitna zada hai. The question asked is this, that let's say, sir, in India, the males is to female, the ratio is 10 is to 9. And the total number of males in India are 60 crore on actual, please understand. This is given on ratio 10 is to 9, males is to females. An actual data, as per the census, as per the government's calculation, let's say, I'm just assuming it. Let's say 60 crore. So total males in India are 60 crore. So what I'll do is I'll compare this ratio wala 10 with this 60 crore. Because ratio scale per males 10 hai. Wohi in reality, actual scale, this is 60 crore. So if this, these 10 males in reality are able to, are, are equal to 60 crores, this simply means that you need to compare this 10 with this, this is its equivalent actual value. Well, whenever you're given something like that, you try and work upon evaluating the multiplying factor. Now, what is multiplying factor? Multiplying factor is always a number which you get by dividing this actual value by its equivalent ratio value. Hamesha, jab bhi aapko questions milenge, to kuch ratios ke corresponding, unki actual values bhi aapko milenge. Yani, jaise yaan par mujhe 10 dikh raha hai, so is 10 ke corresponding, mujhe 60 karo total actual males in India diye gai hai. Well, we were talking about the term multiplying factor. Now, the multiplying factor is nothing, but basically, you get the multiplying factor by dividing the actual value by dividing its corresponding equivalent ratio value. So when you divide 60 by 10, that gives you 6. Now the importance or significance of this 6 is this, that this 6 is the multiplying factor and then this 6 will remain same for all the other ratios as well. For all the other ratios means is this, that agar mujhse kisi ne poocha hota ki sir is country mein females kitni hai. I would have done nothing, but I would simply multiply this 9 by this 6, and 9 into 6 is clearly 54, right? So these 50 crore females are actually there in India. I hope you are understanding the relevance of multiplying factor. I repeat, the relevance of multiplying factor is quite simple. Aap hamesha yaad rakhe that ye jo bhi multiplying factor aap nikalte hai, kaisa nikala jata hai? By dividing a certain actual value by its corresponding ratio value. And that multiplying factor remains same for all the other ratios as well, if they are on the same scale. Yani ki, hum se sawal mein poochha ja raha tha, ki males, females se kitna za hai, in a country like India. So, agar mein yaha se male minus female subtract karu, to 60 minus 54 is nothing but 6. 
but you need to understand instead of evaluating this you would have still figured out the number of males that males are how much more than females well on ratios you need to understand if there are 10 males in india there were nine females in india so on 10 male there were nine females so can i say on the ratio scale males females say kitne zyada the i hope you can calculate it quite easily if there were 10 males in india and nine females in india on ratio scale one male was more than females matlab 10 male or nine females so ek male zyada tha female se on the ratio scale again i would recommend or go with the same approach ki a multiplying factor is ratio ke bhi bhi same rahega so agar is ratio ka equivalent actual value mujhe pata karna hai so I'll multiply this one also by the same six and when you do that one into six is clearly nothing but six crore which you will get by subtracting 54 from 60 but instead of doing this i would recommend that you do this and this is how you can actually easily evaluate the answer in the real examination so instead of going with this longer approach you can always use this shorter approach and can get the answer quite easily i hope you are still you are you are getting more clarity on ratios and proportions and more importantly you are understanding the importance of multiplying factor and you are realizing how should you compare these ratio values with their corresponding actual values if this much data is clearly understood by everyone let's continue further always remember let's understand this better through an example let's say we are given a certain data we are given a certain question right so what if i want to deal with this question how will you figure the answer out everyone look at this let's understand the language of the question first of all what are we given in this question that a and b together have rupees one two one zero i hope you all are reading that so a and b together have rupees one two one zero together which means a and b ka sum should be one two one zero additionally what are we told if 4 by 15th of a's amount is equal to 2 by 5 of b's amount now please crack that language what are we told that 4 by 15 times of the amount A has is equals to 2 by 5 times of the amount B has. So this is the relationship between A and B given. Now whenever you are given something like that, try to work out the ratio. Deekho, ratio ko work out ka kya hai. This 2 ka 2 times is 4 and this 5 ka 3 times is 15. Or 3 and 2 agar main right hand side leke jata hon, to what I get is A upon B is nothing but 3 upon 2. So, when you have numbers in any format, mein dikhte na, you can always say that A is to B is nothing but 3 upon 2. So, first of all, I have worked out the ratio that A is to B is nothing but 3 is to 2. As we have already discussed, ratios can be added or subtracted. It means, if ratio is scale, par, A has 3 rupees and B has 2 rupees, so together, both of them has 3 plus 2, 5 rupees. You need to understand, this is given to us on ratio scale. This is not the actual. But why did I do that? Because this 5 ka equivalent is actual scale. Par hi diya gaya hai. We are noticing that. So basically, I am saying that A and B ke paas, in reality, together, they have 1, 2, 1, 0 rupees. So on actual scale, I hope you can get this now. On actual scale, A and B together have 1, 2, 1, 0 rupees. I hope you remember from the previous example only, what am I going to do next? I'll be evaluating or I'll be comparing this 1, 2, 1, 0 with this 5. And I'll try and figure out the multiplying factor. Now, how do you get the multiplying factor? By dividing this 1 to 1, 0 by 5. Because multiplying factor ki definition is that you divide the actual corresponding value ko, uski ratio value. Se divide kare. Always remember, when you divide the number ko 5, se divide karna hai na, so I avoid dividing it by 5 and I actually 5 ko 10 by 2. Likh leta 10 by 2 is not a good thing, but still I am dividing it by 5. But my operations change. Ho operations is not a good thing. Multiplying factor of Nikal Nasa. This 0 gets cancelled by this 0. And 121 ka double is 242. So I hope you have observed that 5 ko, if I multiply 242, se multiply karta hon, to I get 1210. Now this 242 happens to be the multiplying factor. What were we asked? The question was how much amount does B have? So we have to ask B ke paas kitna hai. on ratios. We had two, and we have already discussed it earlier. कि मुझे किसी भी वैल्यू का अगर इस कॉरेस्पोंडिंग एक्चुअल पता करना है, तो मैं उस रेशो वैल्यू को उसके इक्विवेलेंट मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर से मल्टीप्लाई करता हूँ। और खासियत ये है इस मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर की कि ये सारे रेशोस के लिए सेम होता है। यानी अगर B दो रुपए कमाता है रेशो स्केल पर, on actual scale, he'll earn this two multiplied by 242. So 240 का double is nothing but 484. So अगर मुझसे पूछा गया है कि B के पास कितना amount है, it is clearly 484. I hope you all have understood that pretty well. And if you have gotten a lot of clarity with this question, let's delve deeper in this topic ratios and proportions with another example. So I would request you all 
to look at this question, understand the language of the question, and then we'll solve it together. Everyone, please understand. What are we given in this question? There is a mixture of 60 liters. Please understand. There are multiple ways of solving these questions. These are just few approaches which we have developed at Creative Edge. So please understand. This is a mixture of 60 liters. What are we asked or what are we given additionally? The ratio of milk and water is 2 is to 1. Then if this ratio is to be 1 is to 2, then the quantity of water to be further added is. Please understand. A very interesting question. Again, a simple one. See. Initially, I have a mixture, just may I have milk and water. And when you add milk and water together, you get the mixture. So mixture is nothing but what? The combination of milk and water. I hope this much particular part is understood by everyone. Please understand. Initially, the milk is two units and water is one unit. This is the meaning of the ratios, right? So if the milk is two units and water is one unit, together, the mixture has three units in it. I hope you all are understanding that. So if the mixture is of three units, please understand. In reality, on actual scale, the mixture is of 60 liters. So if this was the data given to me on ratio scale, on actual scale, can I say, I am dealing with total 60 liter of mixture. This is a combination of milk and water, mind you students. Well, if you have total 60 liters ka mixture, can I again figure out the multiplying factor? I hope abhi aapko pata chal chuka hai, yaad ho chuka hai, that multiplying factor is a number which you can attain by dividing an actual value by its corresponding ratio value so 60 ko jab 3 se divide kya i'll get 60 by 3 which is 20 now we i need not tell you or remind you again that this 20 will remain same for all the other values as well matlab agar abhi mujhe figure out karna hai ki isme milk ka quantity kitna hai to that is 2 into 20 which is 40 liters will be the milk and 2 into 1 into 20 that is 20 liters of the water it has however what are we asked to do humse bola ja raha hai ki sir is ratio ko aap 1 is to 2 mein convert kariye ab samajhi aap baat ko जब मुझे इस रेशो को 1 is to 2 में कन्वर्ट करना है, so the now requirement is this कि milk is to water जो अब होना चाहिए, that ratio that ratio now should be 1 is to 2. अभी देखो उसने एक चीज़ फिक्स की है, वो क्या कह रहा है? How much water should be added? Obviously, जब आप रेशो पहले 2 is to 1 था और अभी 1 is to 2 होने वाला है, मतलब definitely आप water की क्वांटिटी बढ़ा रहे हो। तो अगर आप water की क्वांटिटी बढ़ा रहे हो, मतलब आप milk को फिक्स कर रहे हो, एक उसका करिस्पॉन्डिंग यू नो ये एक्चुअल वैल्यू मिल रहा है तो मुझे चाहिए जो अपडेटेड जो नया रेशो जो रिवाइज रेशो चाहिए उस मिक्सचर में वो मिल्क इज टू वाटर वन इज टू टू यूनिट होना चाहिए मतलब दो यूनिट अगर वाटर की हैं तो उसकी हाफ यानी एक यूनिट मिल्क की होनी चाहिए क्योंकि मिल्क कॉन्स्टेंट है मिल्क फिक्स रहेगा वाटर चेंज होगा अच्छा एक और बात याद रखिएगा कि वाटर ऑलरेडी अभी मिक्सचर में ट्वेंटी लीटर से माइंड यू यू डोंट कमिट दैट एर प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड सो अगर मैं मिल्क को फिगर आउट करूँ मिल्क के रिस्पेक्ट में तो फोर्टी लीटर एक्चुअल है वन यूनिट रेशो है Multiplying factor 40 divided by 1 gives you 40. Please understand that. Agar ye multiplying factor 40 yaha par hai, toh amne sikha hai ki yaha bhi ye multiplying factor 40 hi rehne wala hai. So agar aap isse 40 se multiply karenge toh 40 into 2, 80 liters. So now the requirement goes like this ki aapke mixture mein jo water ki quantity honi chahiye that should be 80 liter. I repeat my statement, honi chahiye. Iske hai matlab hai ki ab agar me mixture ko dekho toh usme 80 liter water hona chahiye. What you need to understand, this mixture already had 20 liter in it. So, if 20 liter water already tha, and if I want to take it till 80, so I will water jo extra pour karunga, wo 60 liters or pour karunga. I hope you are realizing that calculation. See, I wanted this milk is to water ka ratio 1 is to 2. This is milk 40 liter hai. Mujhe water ko 80 liter banana padega ta ki milk is to water 1 is to 2 banana hai. Hala ki mujhe pata hai ki is mixture mein already water ka quantity 20 liters hai. So, if I want to take the water ka level 80 liters, so I need to add another 60 liter of water, which means I would mark option D. I hope this particular problem has given you more clarity on ratios and proportions. So Neil, this is for all the other exams. I mean, this is for all the design entrance exams. This is for NATA. All these exams, design entrance exams, files such as NID, NEP, UC, or you would call it even NATA. These all exams deal with aptitude. So they ask you questions based on aptitude. So whenever you're dealing with these kind of questions, you need to remember these are the some techniques through which you can very easily crack the questions. I hope that answers your question, Sunil. Well, moving further, let's try another question. And with that, I would try to give you more clarity on ratios. I hope that question answers your query, Sunil. Well, with that, let's look at this question, everyone. And let's get more clarity on these questions. Well, what are we given in this question that we are asked to divide this 782 
into three parts one by two two by three and three by four so one by two is to two by three is to three by four now please understand whenever ratios are given in terms of fractions try to convert them into integers when you are able to convert them into in integers that will be you know better for you to solve the question or get the answer quite easily so first of all if this ratio is given to me as one by two is to two by three is to three by four so my ratio ko convert karne ki koshish karunga ek proper number mein aap hamesha yaad rakhiye ki isko convert karne ka sabse acha tarika hai ki inke denominators ko main cancel karta hu inke denominators ko cancel karne ke liye main ek aise number se teenon ko multiply karunga jo two three aur four teenon se divide ho jaye so i'm looking for a number rather the smallest the lowest possible number jo two three four teenon se divisible ho basically i'm looking for the lcm of two three and four i think ज्यादा सोचे बिना मैं कह सकता हूँ कि अगर सर आप 12 से मल्टीप्लाई कर दो आई होप यू रिमेंबर रेशियोस को किसी भी एक सेम नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई किया जा सकता है रेशियोस तब भी सेम रहते हैं तो 2 का 12 इज नथिंग 6 3 का 13 3 का 12 इज 4 टाइम्स 4 इनटू 2 इज 8 एंड 4 का 12 इज 3 टाइम्स 3 इनटू 3 इज 9 सो जो ये नया रेशियो अपडेट होके आ रहा है वो आ रहा है 6 इज टू 8 इज टू 9 तो तीन लोगों के बीच जो पैसा बट रहा है फर्स्ट पर्सन इज गेटिंग 6 सेकंड पर्सन इज गेटिंग 8 एंड द थर्ड पर्सन इज गेटिंग 9 दिस 6 इज टू 8 इज टू 9 is equivalent to 1 by 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4 first of all you need to understand that what are we asked that this much money needs to be divided among all these three people can i say together first person second person and the third person are getting how much money together they have total 782 rupees however this is again given to us on actual scale i hope you must have remembered now that agar mujhe ratios par crack karna hai ki first second aur third ke paas kitna kitna paisa hai so first has 6 while second is 9 and the third person has sorry second person has 8 and the third person has 9 so together they have 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 9 14 plus 6 is 20 20 plus 9 is 23 so together they have 23 rupees i hope you are understanding that however this 23 we are given on ratio scale 9 plus 8 is 17 17 plus 6 is 23 right if this 23 is given to us on ratio scale which on actual scale is 782 i hope i need not remind you this is again a question on multiplying factor now how do you find the multiplying factor multiplying factor is when you divide 782 by 23 dekho 23 ki table mein 780 dekho 25 ka 3 times hota hai 75 so 23 ka bhi i think 3 times 78 ke aas pass ho jayega jaise 20 ka 4 times 80 aur 3 ka 4 times 12 sorry 20 ka 3 times is 60 and 3 ka 3 times is 9 so 69 is what i'll get so 23 ka 3 times is 69 इसके बाद 78 माइनस कितना 9 बच रहा है एंड 23 का आई थिंक 4 टाइम्स शुड बी 92 सो आई थिंक द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर हैपेंस टू बी 34 लेट मी जस्ट वेरीफाई वन मोर टाइम 3 इनटू 4 इज 12 एंड आई थिंक ये आराम से जा रहा है सो व्हाट आई नीड टू और व्हाट आई वांट यू टू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर कैन ऑलवेज बी इवैल्यूएटेड बाय डिवाइडिंग द एक्चुअल वैल्यू बाय इट्स करिस्पोंडिंग रेशियो वैल्यू सो 23 व्हेन डिवाइड 782 विल गेट द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर इज 34 Now the significance of multiplying factor was this कि आप किसी भी ratio value को same multiplying factor 34 से divide करिए और आपको उसका corresponding actual value पता चल जाएगा। हमसे पूछा जा रहा था first part कितना है? First part on ratio scale was six. On actual scale it should be six into 34. देखो 30 का six होता है 180, four का six होता है 24. तो 180 plus 24 is 204. So जो first part होगा that is 204 rupees option B. I hope that answers your query and you all must have gotten a lot of clarity on ratios and proportions through this question. In case if you are still having any confusions or queries, you can still post your messages in the comments. With that, I think we have gotten a lot of clarity on ratios and proportions. In the next video, we will talk about percentages. So stay tuned. We'll be back soon. This was Dipendra from Design Aipa, which is also known as Creative Edge. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.